Welcome to the Scientific and Industrial Research and Development Center, CERDIC, Zimbabwe's Technology Center. This is Zimbabwe's hub of industrial research and development, a leading provider of training and consultancy services for the nation's industry. Founded by the Government of Zimbabwe in 1993, CERDIC is built on a 160 hectare campus and its infrastructure includes 11 research and development institutes, modern laboratories, telecommunication networks and a conference center with a capacity of more than 100 delegates. The center is headed by a chief executive officer with two executive directors forming the top management. Each research institute is headed by an institute director. CERDIC is inspired by its vision to be the leading center for the development of Zimbabwe and the region through reduction to practice of technologically developed products and processes. This vision has enabled the center to gradually wean itself from government dependency and become a self-sustaining operation. CERDIC thrives on teamwork, a culture of effective communication, rapid product development, value generation, market assurance, financial independence, and excellent compensation for its employees. CERDIC's mission is to provide Zimbabwe and the region with technological solutions for sustainable development. The center's institutes are run according to its broad strategy of producing high-value, high-quality and competitive products and services. The Biotechnology Research Institute is the center of excellence in the transfer and unpacking of technology in the fields of agricultural sciences, medical sciences, bioengineering sciences, environmental sciences and life sciences. The Institute's current research projects include the Maize Improvement Project, the Mushroom Project, Micropropagation of Virus-Free Sweet Potatoes, and the Medicinal Herbal Project, among others. The BRI has successfully developed a drought-tolerant maize hybrid. The hybrid passed the distinctiveness, uniformity and stability tests as required by the seed services of Zimbabwe. The Food and Biomedical Technology Institute carries out research and development in the areas of food technology, industrial biotechnology and applied chemistry. Among the FBTI's objectives is the adoption of new technologies in food and biomedical processing for local industry. The Institute is also developing a range of parasiticides and pesticides which should be of great help to the agriculture industry. The Energy Technology Institute is mandated with spearheading technology development within the energy sector. It focuses on efficient energy utilization to enable the Zimbabwean productive sector to compete well in the market with products and services meeting international quality standards. Among the Institute's innovative inventions are a gas-fueled car, a solar street light and a mini hydro generator which enables rural communities to generate power from rivers. The Production Engineering Institute plays a pivotal role in CERDIC's operations, with its engineers and technicians offering support services to all the other institutes. The PEI is committed to serving industry with value addition to the national industrial output. Its ambit covers engineering analysis and design, production management, quality improvement and control, improvements of metallurgical processes in foundries and other consultancies. The PEI has also manufactured the gravity grinding mill that has proved popular with farmers and milling companies. The Metallurgical Research Institute was formed to carry out research and development in metallurgical materials, foundry and other forming technologies and to develop and commercialize a portfolio of bankable projects in metallurgy. 
This entity thrives on rigorous quality control procedures that assure the nation the best in metallurgy. The Building Technology Institute is the national focal point for research and development activities. Technology transfer and consultancy services in the areas of construction, building materials, housing and engineering design of buildings. Its product line encompasses the whole spectrum of building technology. Rammed earth and the micro-concrete tile technologies have been the mainstay of the Institute. The Electronics and Communications Institute was developed to carry out research and development in the fields of electronics and communications and to provide consultancy and industrial support services to local industry. The Institute is involved in the design and development of world-class original products for the local market, thereby reducing dependency on imported products. Among other projects, the ECI has developed a chicken egg incubator, an electronic scoreboard and equipment for teaching electronics in schools. The Informatics Institute is capable of developing high quality software products for both the private and public sectors in Zimbabwe and the SADC region. The Institute focuses on internet programming, databases, multimedia applications and e-commerce. The II is divided into three divisions, namely software engineering, communications and networking and technical support services. This institute also repairs and maintains the center's computers. The Environmental Sciences Institute is an R&D training and consulting body which aims at improved and sustainable production processes, environmental management and resource utilization. Among many other provisions, the ESI offers analytical testing services to monitor air, soil and water pollution in the environment. These and other services offered by the Institute help industry to maximize production without disturbing the natural environment. The Geo-Information and Remote Sensing Institute contributes to sustainable environmental resource utilization in Zimbabwe and the region. The Institute aims at providing spatial data analysis solutions that would result in the management of the environment and natural resources in the most sustainable manner possible. The GRSI is engaged in ongoing research in the areas of natural resources management, earth and water resources management, as well as land administration and facility management. The main activities undertaken by the Institute include satellite image processing and classification, geo-referencing of digital data, digitizing hard copy maps for use in GIS, spatially enabling databases, global positioning system GPS surveying, spatial statistics, spatial modeling and overlay analysis. The GRSI also provides customized training in remote sensing applications, geographic information systems, GIS and remote sensing software handling and GIS modeling for decision making. GIS tools are used to come up with fleet management strategies, forecasting of agricultural harvests and management of natural disasters. The National Metrology Institute is Zimbabwe's focal point in all fields of measurement such as electrical, mass, mechanical, time and frequency. Besides offering training and consultancy services, the NMI also develops testing processes and equipment capable of higher precision and more accurate measurement with the objective of transferring this technology to quality assurance departments in industry and testing laboratories. SODIC also houses the Zimbabwean Bureau for the Technological and Commercial Information Promotion System, TIPS, which among other functions, aims at promoting effective entrepreneurship management, especially in small and medium enterprises. The Food and Nutrition Council, FNC, is also housed under CERDIC. 
The Council promotes a cohesive national response to household food insecurity and malnutrition through efficient use of available technical material and financial resources. It coordinates and harmonizes intersectorial implementation of food and nutrition relevant policies and programs by stakeholders. The commercialization of CERDEX research and development results warranted a unit that would manage the business operations at the center. This saw the foundation of the business operations unit, which promotes value addition through unbundling technologically sound products into Zimbabwe, the region and beyond. Commercialization of technologies adds value to raw materials, enhances competitiveness, fosters industrial self-sufficiency and above all, creates jobs for Zimbabweans. CERDIC's innovative research, coupled with the development of useful technology, has found both relevance and necessity in the increasingly industrialized market. CERDIC, without doubt, avails to Zimbabwe and the region technology for sustainable growth.